Hey guys, what's up? This is Sharks Walking. Welcome back to my channel. So, uh, we are playing uh, Final Fantasy Brave X with War of the Visions. And what are you looking on the screen right now? Well, I'm facing this boss of the 50th stage of the collaboration with Final Fantasy XIV. And you may see it's not going too well. I'm losing this fight because I aim too high. But was I wrong for aiming too high? Well, no, I don't think so. You may see uh, what this is about when I finish this fight. Let me die here so I can talk about why I decided to aim too high on this game. Let my characters die. At least there's no permadeath here. Or else everything will be just doomed. Let me click on auto so I can finish this as soon as possible. Engelbert doesn't die so easy. But he can solo this fight, at least not now. Okay, we just died. But it's okay to die. Sometimes it's okay to die. I will simply click on give up. Don't click on continue, please. I really want to give up. And now I want to talk about why did I try to end too high. Simply because the game is not exactly very reliable when it says how much difficult a stage can be. Yeah. Okay, so now that we are back on the event screen, you can see that this boss that I just lost is actually a boss with the recommended unity of level 40 and job level of 8. Well, uh, is this true? No, I don't think so. If you depend on your squad building, if your characters have high level or not, if you uh, have a good uh, strategy, if you have tanks, if you have healings, and if you have um, characters that can deal damage from distance, it will depend on all of circumstances. And even the characters that you may have or not. So the most important thing is that I am around level 10. Yes, I am around level 10. But I can clear very easily level 30. And why is that true? I don't even use an equipment. You can see that the only equipment that I have is the Excalibur weapon that the, uh, was given to us. I don't have any other equipment, you can see here, I don't have even unlocked all the other slots. So uh, I don't have any other thing to increase the power of my characters. I'm just playing the game Ronaldo most of the time. I can, uh, actually I can equip some stuff here that I didn't. <laughs> Sometimes you have to really check out to see if you're using everything that you may have access to. Yeah, now I am using everything that I have access to. So... Um, you can see, my character is on level 10. I will just send them on this mission, you see the recommend is level 30 and the job level 6. And actually my characters are on job level 3, I think, most of them are at least. You can see it here, um, job level then are on level 3. And actually I can defeat this very, very easily, I don't even have to bring companions. That's a, a, that's a reason why this, this happened, this stage here is very easy. It, has a lot of skeletons that don't really attack that much from the, from afar and you can kind of build uh, a character to uh, become on the front and defend off your other characters that attack from afar and just like the strategy that you usually use with tanks and I even play on auto, I don't even play on manual you can just watch what happens here with my squad like I said I only have their level 10 with my characters but I do have ultra hard characters my uh, luck was very good on this game and I have five ultra hard characters just going through a step up sumo up to level three and it was enough to get five ultra hard characters. This is what I have and also it works pretty well to use uh, Medina and this other mage I have here that uses holy magic. It works pretty well on this skeletons and it makes even easier for me. But my advice is just try things out. Don't uh, be afraid of losing energy sometimes. And if I didn't try this, I would never know that I was able to clear this type of content with my squad. Uh, if the game doesn't say to me that I'm able to defeat it. But let's just watch what happens here. You can see this is a tower and it's a very uh, thin opening and not many characters will be able to reach you. And if you have a healing character here, it will be even easier for you because you can simply heal uh, the damage slowly because you won't be receiving that much damage coming. Uh, towards you. I also have uh, you also have the, the help from uh, Ishtola from Final Fantasy XIV. She's here helping uh, and you can see it makes uh, for some damage here and there 
but my spread doesn't really depend on her to deal damage. I'm not, like I said, I'm not using companions. Because it's even better if you have characters that has skills that can hit from afar. Even though some of them are not exactly uh, as they should have been, because it's, like I said, some characters are even on job level 2. They don't have, even have access to the best uh, skills they should have right now. Sometimes the uh, artificial intelligence will make some bad decisions like this and sending the healer uh, <laughs> right in front of the enemy instead of trying to send, uh, keep her on the back. But I never lost this fight, even without companions. Let's just see if something bad happens. Maybe it will because I'm seeing something very strange here. But after you beat the first time, you don't really need to keep beating uh, it with um, everyone alive. Even if one v one character survives on the end, it's still a win. You don't have to get the best result. It's only on the first time. Then it's farming mode. When where you're farming, you don't really uh, care about if your characters are alive or not on the end. It just matter if you finish the stage. And on the event of the Final Fantasy XIV, the most important thing is to get the chest. Our characters already got the chest, so uh, they, you have to be careful with this because you have to send them for chests first. And the game already comes with this bundle when you click on auto, you just have to check when you click on options. And you have this prioritized treasure chest. If it's on, it is okay, and you will be always getting the chests because it's on the chest that you get the currency from the event. You see, uh, even through this, this girl <laughs> is not actually uh, behaving the, sh what, the way she should be behaving because she's a healer, she's still not dead because she's blocking these skeletons from advancing and she's holy, so the damage that comes from. The skeletons are behind, but she also can do some good damage when she casts Banish. If, that is, if she casts it at all. It's good to have this Spear guy here as well, because he can attack from far. But most characters have a um, uh, special skill that cannot hit from far. May not be always useful, may not be always ready for you to use, but it's good when you have it. Ishtal is always very is slow when she attacks. You can see she barely did any damage. 44 damage only. And you see, the, the, the battle is, is, is ending, very close to ending. But it's not like I'm only winning because I'm using ultra hard characters. The difference here is way too high. It's a recommended level of 30 and I'm using level 10 characters. Maybe if you're using uh, SR or Mega Hard characters on level 14 or 15, it will be enough but if you consider the difference in power level of these characters. And we are very close to ending this fight, you can see. Very, very close. Only one skeleton alive. Even though it seemed like it will not work, it's still very easy because the, the enemies can get uh, near, near you very easily. But the boss of the 50th stage is not exactly like that. You see, I was only trying, it was my first attempt. I didn't know what to expect on the fight because I, win, I won this one. I was just thinking that I could won again. But no, no, I have to prepare myself a little more. Probably have to reach level 20 to defeat that guy. But the, the only lesson to learn here is, guys, do try your best, do try to fight on higher recommended levels, maybe you can win, and the drops will always be better on higher levels instead of just going through the lower levels. You have to get a lot of currency on this event because you want to get Tancred, maybe you want to get another good stuff from the event, and you always need a lot of currency from the event. Now the battle is ending, we will just have to do our finishing blow. And when we do our finishing blow, we'll show you guys how many currencies we get by running this stage. As you may know, we are on the second day of the game. I didn't have the time to play whole day yesterday, so I'm playing today. And I'm still on level 10 and able to clear this. When I'm able to clear the last, I will keep farming the highest stage available. It's very dumb that sometimes <laughs> you can simply finish the enemy and your characters keep running around and they don't finish the enemy. Okay, so we finished this quest. It was, like I said, easy, but that's only because I also have ultra-hard characters. Maybe have access to other characters. Just try yourself, 
try to use characters that can attack from far, especially. You only have need two characters to, to tank. And you can see I got 40 of the, the currency from the event, and I used 20 energy. So it means that I'm getting double the energy I'm investing on the event. And this is very good because we also get some very good awakening and job materials as drops as well. Okay, so this is it guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And we see each other on the next video. Bye.